Hi and welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing and testing double-sided release paper from Diamond Art Club. When Diamond Art Club released their double-sided release paper, I was very interested because I did an unboxing and testing of their single-sided release paper back in October 2022. So it's exactly a year since I did that unboxing. And I was very curious to see what had changed. So <clears throat> a few weeks ago I received this envelope and there is no mention of any diamond painting company on it. I really didn't know what it was. Um, I noticed that on the label, I don't think you'll be able to read it, maybe you will. Telephone number, it just says US, United States, telephone number 000000000. Email no one at email.com. So I was a bit dubious about what it was, but eventually I opened it and um, this is what I found inside. I was quite surprised because uh, anybody who's bought from Diamond Art Club will know when they uh, send their diamond paintings, they're in a branded box, it's got Diamond Art Club, it's got the website, it's got Instagram, it's got Facebook, everything Diamond Art Club. It was just pretty much a plain padded envelope, so I was expecting something with Diamond Art Club on it. Anyway, I did open it and this is what I found inside. So. This is Diamond Art Club's newer uh, release paper, it is double sided, the original one was single sided and I've actually still got the box for that. So this is the, the new one and this is the old one. So you can see uh, quite a difference in size, 200 pieces, 200 pieces. This one is 4 inches by 4 inches, this one is 5.7 inches by 7.9 inches. That translates to 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres compared to 14.5 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So, big difference. So, put this to the side and we'll have a look at this. I haven't actually opened the package. Um, I just opened the envelope because I didn't really know what was inside it. So we'll have a look and it says how to use. Oh, that's better. How to use. Peel off the original covering of your diamond painting. Apply either side of the release paper down onto the adhesive section. Use as many sheets needed to cover your artwork in the areas desired. 200 pre-cut sheets and then just a bit Diamond Art Club, the little Diamond Art Club uh, logo there. And that is it. So now I just need to open it up. So I've got a couple of those uh, round sticky things. That's one. I've just got enough nails to get this. And that's two. So we'll open it up. And that's what we've got. So it is branded um, as I would expect. Diamond Dark Club, um, do what makes you sparkle. And open it up. I'm really curious about this um, after doing the initial uh, or the original release paper. So I'm on a tilted table as you can tell. But the first thing that I wanted to see is what happened when I opened the box. Did the paper curl? Um, it didn't. It's absolutely flat. Which is what I would expect, but when I, I did the unboxing of the single sided, as soon as I took it out of the package, I could see it was starting to curl up. Um, 
this is sitting flat so shining both sides so the big benefit of that is you don't have to think about which side you're putting down on your diamond painting um, none of it will stick whereas if you use single sided if you accidentally put the wrong side down and it does happen uh, you're maybe just in a hurry uh, you, you've lost track of time realized you've got to go and pick up the kids or whatever stick down your release paper and then realize you've put one the wrong way around um, it will stick to the glue so the big advantage of double sided is you don't have to worry about it and um, how you put it down if you accidentally if you've picked up a bundle and you accidentally drop it and it lands in the glue it's not going to stick so um, as I said, the single sided uh, was a very different story. It's quite soothing watching that actually. Um, I've still got release paper uh, from that unboxing that I haven't used. Um, I took it out of the box and I noticed it was starting to curl. And I thought, okay, I didn't expect that. So I left it out for weeks and it just kept curling and curling. So I've got some here, in fact, nearly all of it, um, because I never used it. Um, so this is what happened to the single-sided release paper. It turned basically into a tube. Um, I'll take one off. That's what it looks like if you set it down. So if you compare that to that. I'll move these. I'll put them somewhere flat so they don't slide. So this is the direct comparison between them. They've both got the same uh, the same logo on them, same colour, same font, same everything. Except the single sided ones had nothing on this side. So this is the side that would go on the glue, and all you had to remember was the print if you can see the print it's the correct way but as i said things happen you just forget or you're not thinking you stick it down and then it sticks to the glue thankfully they've now got double sided so you don't have to think about it um, it will not stick to the glue so what i want to do today is just test it and compare it to the release paper that I've actually been using for nearly three years. So I'm going to take the cover off because, as always, I've got a diamond painting under here that I've just started. It's a very small one. Um, but what I want to do is just remove this so we can see what I'm working on. Normally, I cover everything and I would only have this section exposed. Um, the release paper would be under these mats it helps to keep everything flat it stops things catching on the folds and it stops things sliding down the table um, if I set my, my, my cases and my trays and things on this it will slide down the table if I put the mats down the, everything sits where I put it so that's why I use the mats people do ask so that's why I use the mats it keeps everything nice and flat gives me a nice big work area and I only show the area that I'm working on. So this is I've just started it. So um, this is what I'm working on. So just to compare, um, just watch what I'm doing. I don't want to stick this on the glue. Um, this was the single sided, and this is a pretty much standard double sided release paper size. And then we've got uh, Diamond Art Club's new double sided release paper. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. Um, it looks like it's the same width. Yep, it's exactly the same width, but it's uh, quite a bit shorter. But actually, I think that is a, a good thing. So I want to basically replace um, the release paper. I also want to explain how I put it down and why I put it down the way I do. So a small diamond painting like this, um, not many sheets of release paper but basically what I do is I put down I start in this corner, I always start in this corner um, I put down the last sheet first 
So I put down that sheet, then I put this one, and I have an overlap, so it's easy to pick up. You don't want to put it side by side because it's, you can't pick it up because it's stuck to the glue. So a nice overlap, so it makes it nice and easy to pick up. Work backwards until you get to where you start. So your first sheet is going to be here, and you just peel that off, and then you work on this. You might not finish the area, so you put it back and just uh, stick the release paper on the glue. And in my case, I put the mats on top just to keep everything nice and flat. So I would do this section. Once it's finished, there's no point putting the release paper on it because there's no glue for anything to stick to. So I would just put the mat over the top again. Stops dust and hair and things getting in between the drills. Um, then I would set it up so the gap was here and I would take off this sheet of release paper and then I would work that until it was full and then this one and then this one and then this one and then finally get to the last one And then by the time I finish that section, the whole picture is done. So what I want to do is put down the Diamond Art Club, um, double-sided, and um, just see how it goes. Now, this diamond painting's got quite a wide uh, glue border that goes past the picture. What I would do normally, or in fact what I'll do is this time as well, is before I actually put any release paper down that I've never tried, what I do is I put it on the glue strip. Now, it depends on the company. Um, if it's actually a Diamond Art Club diamond painting, which this isn't, um, their glue strip is very, very narrow, but a lot of companies, the glue strip is quite wide. So it gives you an area to test it. So what I, I normally do is I put the release paper down on it and then I try and peel it off. Just to make sure it works before I put it on the actual picture. And that works perfectly. It came off really, really easily, which is what you want. So I'll start doing it the way that I would normally do it. So I'll set it up here. And because I use the key on the canvas, um, I don't want to cover that over. So I put that one down. And then obviously I need to get more that I just put down. <coughs> Where did I put them? I put them on the chair behind me. So I'll take a few, and it's just a matter of um, lining them up. I mean, you don't have to get them exactly right, but the main thing that you want to do is have this overlap, so it's easy to pick them up. Don't put the sheets um, together like side by side, and then you can just. Uh, put it as it suits. So that's enough to cover the glue all the way across to the edge, so that would go there. And then this one would go here, but because I'm not, I don't have the key, no I do slightly, but I move the paper over a bit so I cover this sticky side. And then again just basically the same thing. I mean if you're really uh, precise you can line them up so they're exactly in line um, I don't really bother doing that, I just adjust it as needed when I'm working on the kit. So we've got that, and then it would just be these three. I notice this is more transparent than the sheets I was using. Not that it matters, but I quite like not being able to see the picture. Um, and I can only see the section I work on, and then I only see the, the picture when I maybe take everything off to do a, a work in progress picture or when I finish it I take everything off so it's a sort of surprise um, because I just do section at a time cover up every other section and then at the very end uh, I open up the whole thing so this one isn't really I mean it will stick but a lot of this is done so that's why that one's just sort of floating about so again I would work this section I would finish it and then I would take off the next one. You see how easily these are coming off. 
really, really easy. They're actually better than the, the ones that I'm using. They're thinner, and um, that's probably why you can see through them. They're not as heavy, they're not as big. But the thing that I really like about that, I mean, I think some people might say, oh, they're too small. Um, for people who are working, or uh, working and have kids and have other hobbies and have other things going on in their life, they don't have a lot of time to diamond paint. So to actually have time to sit and do a section this size might be more realistic than sitting down and trying to do a section this size. Um, and trying to sit down and do a section this size um, is going to take quite a bit of time. So I think the fact that they've basically what, halved it, more than halved it, the size, um, I like that because I think when you finish a section you feel as if you've actually achieved something. So um, it doesn't take as long to do a section. Okay, there's more sections. But I think you still get that satisfaction of that section's complete. Or you're trying to finish a section and you're thinking, right, okay, I've, I've nearly finished this, but this is only going to take about, whatever, 20 minutes or something, whatever's left. Whereas if this was this size, it's going to take maybe double that. And then the very big one is going to take a lot longer. So the release paper works very, very well. It is really, really easy to peel off. Basically no resistance but it sticks it, it's not moving it's, it's absolutely fine um, very very easy uh, I think actually if I have tested quite a few release papers um, out of all of them this is the easiest to take off not that this is difficult but it's just uh, really really easy to peel these off but they do stick it's not that they're not sticking they do um, I really like the fact that they are small. I, I just I like that because personally I have times when I don't have much time at all to diamond paint um, and being able to do a section and get it complete um, I prefer that than having sections where I've got like three quarters of it done and I have to try and stick the, uh, the release paper on what's left and it doesn't really want to because most of it isn't sticky um, I definitely like that. I'm really, really pleased that they decided to to do um, the double sided. I was going to say switch to the double sided, but they actually still sell the single sided. Now, whether the single sided, this is a year later, um, whether the single sided still does this, I don't know. Um, this really annoys me. Um, it's the only release paper I've had that does it. Any other release paper I've tried, single sided or double, doesn't do this. And this hasn't been used. This is like totally virgin um, release paper. Never been used. Um, I like to be able to open the drawer on my desk and just put the release paper in when I've finished using it. And then I just take the sheets for the next kit. I just take them from the same pile from the top. So I'm using the same sheets again and again and again. I've done, uh, I think, 60 diamond paintings. can't remember when I got these, but I think it's about three years ago. Every now and again you'll get one that suddenly sticks a little bit more than it should. One of these did it, this one. I can tell because it's curled. Um, other ones are still pretty flat. As soon as it does this, I throw it away. I don't, I don't try and get more out of it because if it's starting to stick, I'm thinking it's just going to get worse. So I don't want to take it to the point where it actually does stick and rips and then I've got to try and get it off. So if I get the release paper starting to do this, I throw it away. I mean, I have hundreds. I mean, the Diamond Art Club, you get 200 sheets. So um, I don't try and keep using it. Um, I just throw it away. So... But most of it, um, I, I mean, I'm still using it after three years. This is doing exactly what I would expect. It's, it's sitting absolutely flat. It's thin. Um, it peels off very, very easily. Um, yeah, I mean, this this is what I expected a year ago. 
Um, I didn't expect this, so I'm very, very happy that they have switched. Well, they haven't switched. I did contact Diamond Art Club and said, now that you're doing the double-sided, will you be stopping the single-sided? And they said that they haven't, they haven't decided yet what they're doing. So if you go on the website, you will see double-sided and single-sided. Personally, I would definitely go for the double-sided. Um, I like the fact they're smaller, so you get sections done quicker. Okay, you do more sections, but you still get that achievement that you've finished a section. And you don't have to worry about which side you put down. Um, the kids may be playing with the release paper and deciding to help and sticking it down the wrong way. Um, you can actually watch the, the unboxing and testing video if you want, um, because that's what I, I did. Um, I tried it and then I, I turned some sheets over the wrong way and put them down. So you can see what happens um, when you do that in advance. Um, but with the, release, the double sided release paper, you don't have to think about it. So really, really happy that uh, Diamond Art Club have decided to add double sided release paper. So I like it a lot. Um, nothing wrong with it. Um, very, very easy to take off. And as I said, I really like the small size. So this is uh, Diamond Art Club's double-sided release paper. So that was uh, double-sided release paper from Diamond Art Club. Um, way, way better than the original uh, single-sided, um, as far as I'm concerned. I like the fact that they've done the smaller size. Um, as I said, you get that sense of achievement that you finished a section. Um, and if you're, you're working and you've got kids and you've got other things going on, you don't always have that much time to uh, diamond paint. So I think, uh, I definitely think that's a good thing. Um, double sided, really, really glad they decided to switch because then you don't have that, um, you have to think when you put the paper down. It's very easy to get distracted. You have other things going on. Um, maybe you, you lose track of time and you have to uh, go and check dinner or whatever and you just quickly stick the release paper down and then you realise you've put it the wrong way. And then you've got to tear it off and then get that um, paper off the glue. Um, not really what you want to do when you really want to be diamond painting. So, yeah, I think it's... A huge improvement on the single sided. As I said, uh, I will put a link to the review I did a year ago, and uh, you will you will hear my thoughts on it then. Uh, they n they never changed. Um, the uh, uh, I don't understand why the release paper curls up as bad. And as I said, I don't know if that's something they fixed um, because it was a year ago. Um, but I was I was very very surprised. Um, as soon as I opened the box it just started to curl I hadn't even used it and you saw what it's like a year later just uh, I sat out for quite a long time and then I just put it in a bag and put it in the cupboard and that's where it sat um, and I just thought I would bring it out just to to let you see it um, the new release paper sits perfectly flat okay it's just out of the box but um, we'll see how it goes I mean if, if it does change obviously I will do a little video but um, now that I've taken the release paper I was using off, I'm, I'm going to use the Diamond Art Club. Um, I really like it and it'll give it a good test because I will use the same, same sheets again and again and again and see if uh, it happens where suddenly they stick a bit more than they used to. Um, the sheets that I use, occasionally I'll get one, but it's very few. I think in three years that's maybe the fifth sheet that I've thrown away. Um, so it, it doesn't happen very often but um, I, I wouldn't try okay it, it, it's stuck but maybe if I turn it over it'll last longer I mean for the sake of one sheet of release paper um, compared to the hassle of trying to get stuff off the glue when it sticks um, the other reason I like the fact that the sheets are smaller it means that you are exposing less glue so you've got less chance of uh, hairs and dust and crumbs and homework or whatever getting stuck to it 
Um, so yeah, it's definitely a huge improvement. Um, to be honest, this is what I expected a year ago. Um, so I'm, I'm very pleased to see that they have uh, changed it. Um, I, I don't know if they're going to discontinue the single sided. Um, I, I just feel that there's, there's too many disadvantages to single sided. It might be cheaper, but um, the risk of something going wrong is definitely higher. Um, so yeah, that's it. Really like it. Um, it's the easiest release paper to take off. It's very, very easy to take off, but it sticks. Um, so yeah, really nice. And I will be using it from now on. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please uh, consider subscribing and hitting the notification button. If you do that, you will catch more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, accessories, anything to do with diamond painting. Um, you may also catch me live on YouTube Live. I do random lives. I don't have set days and times because I just can't um, commit to that sort of thing. I do them when I have time. Um, I enjoy talking to other diamond painters who drop in. They can see what I'm working on. We can talk about diamond painting. We can talk about the weather. We can talk about anything. The price of cheese. Anything. Um, I just like that back and forward banter. Uh, maybe you could learn a bit about Copenhagen. Um, I moved here 12 years ago now. So uh, I really enjoy living in Copenhagen after leaving Scotland. So um, if you want to ask any questions about Copenhagen, Hans Christian Andersen, um, the Danish flag, uh, there's a lot to learn about the Danish flag, um, feel free. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.